All right, BFit Nation, welcome back. Let's get settled in here. First off, welcome to your Wednesday here. Welcome to your Wednesday workout with our BFit program. My name is Roy Montes. I'll be leading you through today's workout. So as you get settled in, make some room for yourselves. Grab a towel, grab your water. Let's get ready to work. All right, team, just a note here. Today's workout is all about resistance training. So we're working with some resistance. If you have any dumbbells, if you have any kettlebells, if you have any resistance bands, uh, those can go a long way for us today as we engage ourselves with resistance training through today's workout. <clears throat> I hope everyone had a great weekend. All right, a great start to your week. And here's your midweek push for you. So for today's workout, we have four movements that we're gonna tackle for today through our resistance training, okay? Um, our timing for today is going to be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds, and one minute rest in between each of those rounds, okay? Once again, 40 on, 20 off, four rounds, and one minute rest in between each of those rounds. I'm going to demo each movement before we get started with the workout, so that way we know exactly, what to, uh, exactly what's coming. Uh, you can listen for any coaching cues, any tips, any techniques, any form correction that you can take away from uh, this demonstration, and then we'll jump into some dynamic stretching, and then we'll go directly into our workout. So let's uh, call out the workout for today. So for the four movements that we're going to tackle for today, we have a bit of a lower body movement with two side steps and a low uh, quarter squat position with, a, with two squats to cash in and cash out on each side. All right, I'll, once again, I'll demo these movements uh, in one second. So exercise movement number two is gonna be a dumbbell row. So if you have any dumbbells or anything with the handle, any weight, go ahead and grab that. We are going to position ourselves and brace ourselves off of one leg, hinge and pull. So that's a pulley movement for, for exercise number two. Movement number three is going to be a curtsy squat with a bicep curl at the bottom of the position. And exercise number four, we are attacking and isolating our core with leg raises, leg raises with a knee tuck. So knee tucks <clears throat> and the leg raises from our from the floor. So if you have a mat, go ahead and uh, grab that as well to keep ourselves nice and comfortable. Let me dial in on our screen here. That way I can see exactly who's with me for today. So once again, welcome to our workout Wednesday edition of our BFit Live program. Okay, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Grab that towel, grab that water as I demonstrate these four, these four movements for today. So movement number one, exercise number one, out of the four, we have two side steps with two squats to cash in and cash out. So from that left or right position here or the center, we are going to drop down into that low quarter squat. So think about getting nice and low, nice and engaged here into that low squat position. Knees are tracking over the front of your toes, keeping that chest up, keeping that back nice and flat as you're into that low squat position, okay? If you have any resistance bands, now would be a great time to place those over our knees. <clears throat> From here, you're gonna sidestep one, two, and then drop down into two squats, right? Two body weight squats. From here, reload, one, two, and then you're back down into two body weight squats and rinse and repeat for the 40 seconds of work, okay? So that's a lot of lower body, some isolation, some <clears throat> stability here as well for those lateral movements to engage our outside of our glutes, our legs, our inner thighs, our quads, and <clears throat> some body weight squats to keep our form nice and tight on the ends of those lateral movements. So that's going to be exercise number one. All right. Exercise number two is a dumbbell row. So if you have any dumbbells uh, that you can uh, have access to, we're going to go ahead and brace ourselves here with a dumbbell row. So 20 seconds, one arm, 20 seconds, the opposite arm, but set yourself up here. So we wanna take a nice staggered stance here. All right, foot forward, foot back with that staggered stance, whichever way your hips are opened up to, that's which arm we're gonna to row to. So opposite arm that is not rowing, we are gonna brace ourselves off of our knee. We wanna make, want make sure that our hips are square to the floor here, square and straight, our back is flat, and our head is in that neutral position, meaning it is in alignment with that spine. We're not looking up, we're not tucking that chin down. We are looking at our gaze just a few feet in front of us to keep that spine in alignment. From here, we're going to work on that row. So as we brace ourselves here, sit back into that split stance, elbow comes up close to our torso, 90 degree bend, 
at that elbow. So elbow <clears throat> and arm at that 90 degree bend, that's where you should be pulling at right there, engaging your lats right here, your mid to upper back and your lats on whichever side you're pulling. So we're gonna work with some rows for 20 seconds on one side. Go ahead and drop the weight, alternate, staggered stance once again, your hips open up to that <clears throat> arm that's rowing, back flat, hips square, head neutral, brace yourself with that alternate leg and row again with a nice isolation movement here for our lats for another 20 seconds. All right, that's gonna be movement number two, okay? Movement number three, we are going to take two dumbbells here with a curtsy squat and a curl at the bottom. So grabbing our weight of choice here, think about positioning yourself forward here. Nice, strong stance. We're going to take one leg, right leg is going to extend back and over to our left side. So it crosses the center of our body line here. And from here, we're gonna lower ourselves down, knee gets tucked in and faces straight ahead. Toe points straight ahead as well as our chest. From here, we're gonna go into a bicep curl at the bottom of the position and then drive back up through our heel and alternate left leg and right leg, okay? To our comfort level here, wherever that, <clears throat> that rear leg extends out to and crosses our body line. If we just need to go back into a reverse lunge for that comfort, take a little strain off of that front knee or rear knee we, as you drop down, let's go ahead and go into that reverse lunge here, drop down, still stick, we, sticking with our bicep curl and then resetting to the top of our position, okay? So we have a curtsy squat with a curl for exercise number four, or number three, sorry. And number four, we have a lateral raise with a knee tuck. So if you have a mat, let's go ahead and use it. If not, perfectly fine as well. <clears throat> We're thinking about coming down onto our backs here. Our hips are gonna be positioned on the floor. Legs are up and straight. From here, our hands can either go by our temple here. We wanna make sure to, to lead with our head up towards the ceiling, leaving a little bit of a gap here in between your chin, okay? Think about a ball that's right here on our chin. Um, with this knee tuck, you're going to extend those legs out and then bring those legs and those knees up towards our chest. As we feel that crunch, a nice activation within our core, making sure our toes are pointed up towards the ceiling. So we want that dorsiflexion on our ankles here. So nice strong tuck and then extending right back out and then right back into that tuck. This is a great modification for the knee tuck in the ACFT if you have your test coming up as well. So nice strong engagement of that core, head is back, driving those knees up towards our chest with those knees tucked in and those ankles flexed, toes pointing up towards the ceiling. All right, that's gonna be movement number four. That's gonna be a nice activation within our core to get us started, to round us out through the, through the round and to kick off our workout. So once again, team, join us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know where you're working out from. Let us know how your week is going. Let us know, BFit Nation. All right. So once again, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off for those four exercises, four rounds, one minute rest in between each round. I'll go ahead and start my timer. But before that, let's jump into some dynamic stretching. That way we can get our bodies prepared to work. So just like every workout, we're gonna take some time to really focus on warming up our bodies before we jump into the workout. You wanna make sure that your muscle groups, your muscle fibers are warmed up and your bodies are warmed up as well as your mind, right? We want to make sure that we were in the right mindset to be able to perform to the best of our abilities. So we're gonna take that right leg back. We're gonna take that left arm, shoot it up straight in the air, okay? We're gonna push those hips forward and extend that arm, finding that balance here, finding that breathing, really feeling that flex and that stretch in your quad, in your hip flexors and in the shoulder as you extend up to the top, mid to upper back as well. Let's go ahead and alternate. We're gonna do each of these for about 30 seconds and then we'll move on to the next, all right? Let's go at our own pace here. If you need to sit in on a movement a little longer on each side, let's go ahead and do that as well, all right? I know it's Wednesday here, we've been moving for a few days now, coming off of an extended weekend, but now's a great time to get back on track if you haven't done so yet. All right, team, one more here. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Lateral lunges here to really work on our inner thigh here. We wanna take a nice wide stance. Feet, shoulder width, a uh, wider than shoulder width apart. Toes 
tracking to the front and fix at the front here. We wanna shift our weight over to our left and to our right, just like a lateral lunge here, but a nice soft lateral lunge here. All right, nothing too aggressive. You don't need to sit down into this shifting of the lateral lunge. Just wanna feel that stretch in our inner thigh as you keep going left side to right side. Chest stays up, right? Chest stays up, head stays locked in forward. Shifting the weight here, maybe each shift, each side, you're able to drop down a little lower, really feeling our hips opening up. Good, last three, two, one. All right, team, up to the front of our space here. We're gonna take a reverse lunge with our overhead reach. It's gonna be a nice for that row with that overhead reach here. So take that right leg, extend it back into a reverse lunge. Hands come together as we drop down, hands come up and reaches over to our lead leg side. Back to center, back to standing. And let's go ahead and alternate left leg and right leg with that left side and right side overhead reach, okay? Go ahead and pick up the tempo here a little quicker. Remember to focus on our breathing here with that overhead stretch, that overhead reach. You should feel that stretch in our lats as we shift over to that lead leg side. Good, last three here. Out in two, last rep. Should feel your legs warming up right about now. All right, good job team, good job team. Let's go with hip circles here. We've been seated for a long period of time. Right leg forward, right leg back, left leg back, left leg forward. Good, nice wide circles here. I know my hips are tight, so I'm really feeling this one. How are we doing, BFit Nation? We ready to go, we ready to work out? Which movement seems the most challenging for us here? Is it the sidestep with the squat? Is it that dumbbell row? How about that curtsy squat with a curl at the bottom? Or is it dialing in our knee tuck? Everything is as challenging as we make it here. All right, what effort you put in is what we're gonna get out of it for today. So let's go into those YTWs to round us out for our dynamic stretching. Nice, strong stance here, feet shoulder width apart. This is gonna be our center. This is gonna be our home from here. We're extending out into a big Y, stretching out left and right, back to center. Big T formation here. Really bringing our shoulder blades back. Big W. Nice big W, you should feel that stretch in your anterior delts, so your shoulders, your mid to upper back as well, squeezing your shoulder blades back together, back to center. Big Y here. Focus on our breathing, big T. Nice wide T, big W. Good, show off those biceps. Last one here, big Y. Really pausing at the top, head looking straight ahead, big T. And last one, big W here. I wanna see that W after we work out, after we do those bicep curls. All right, team, that's gonna be our dynamic stretching for today. Let's go ahead and grab that towel, grab that water, refill on that hydration as I get my timer started, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four rounds and one minute rest in between is wrong. Mm. I know things are warming up around us, so make sure and stay hydrated through your workouts. All right, we wanna set ourselves up for success here by keeping ourselves hydrated. All right, team, we ready to rock and roll? We ready to rock, here we go. All right, team. All right, BFit Nation, we are up in 10 seconds. All right, if we have resistance bands, they're gonna go right above our knee here. We're gonna sit down in that low squat here, two steps to the left, two squats, cash in and cash out, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go, one, two, nice. Two squats here, reset, one. Two, good. Make sure and keep on those heels. Nice, strong movements here. One, two, good. 15 seconds left. Good, nice control. Reset into that low squat. Last five seconds. Three, two, finish it out. One, time. 20 seconds of rest here, we have dumbbell rows, okay? So 
grab that resistance, grab that dumbbell if you have, grab that kettlebell if you have, grab anything with a handle that you have. We're gonna set ourselves up first. I'm gonna roll with my right arm. Coming up in five seconds, staggered stance. One hand places on our lead foot, two, one, 20 seconds on the clock, and we're rowing, all right? 90 degree bend at that elbow point. Left hand is placed on my knee for stability, for support. If we had a chair, we can come off of a chair. If we had a bench, we can come off of a bench as well, right? Really tucking in that elbow. All right, 20 seconds in, let's go ahead and alternate. Really think about our breathing as well. Back is flat, hips are square to the floor. 10 seconds here. That gaze should be just about two feet in front of us. Four, last three seconds, two, squeeze it at the top and time. 20 seconds of rest here. And then we go into that curtsy squat with a bicep curl at the bottom. So a two for one movement here, <clears throat> setting ourselves up here. I'm gonna go into the center of my workout space. Starting with my left leg, trailing back in three seconds. Two, one, nice proud chest. Keep that chest up nice and proud. Rear leg drops down over our center of our body line, drives back up through that front heel. Curtsy squat, bicep curl back to standing position. <clears throat> Knee tracks over the front of that toe, right? And still stays straight. Good job. Nice strong movements here when we're working with resistance. <sighs> we wanna make sure our form is correct. So take it slow, take it controlled. Really moving with the purpose here. Last five seconds. <sighs> Out in three, two, one, time. Good job, good job, good stuff team. All right, we are on the ground here for a leg raise knee tucks here. Knee tucks coming up, 10 seconds. Get your space ready to go here. We are on our backs, five seconds coming up. Three, two, one, here we go team. Hands can be underneath our glutes, right? They can be off to the side. They can be at our temple level. Good, making sure that, that head is pushed back into the floor if needed. Whew. Really activating and isolating our core here. Your tempo could be faster than mine or it can be slower than mine. If we wanna go one leg, let's go one leg. If we need to rest and reset after each knee tuck, let's do that team. Whew. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job, good job. How are we doing, Nation? How are we doing? How are we doing? That was the first round. We have 60 seconds of rest here. And then we are gonna jump into that second round. Let me know, how are you doing? Where are you working out from? Where are you catching this BFIT live from? Let me know, team. Let me reset myself here. Mm -hmm. Good job, good job. Way to stay with us here. Way to stay with us. Now's a great time to really stretch out anywhere that you may be tight from, right? Scan that body. We're tight in our shoulders and our chest, right? Let's really work on framing us and setting ourselves up for this next round. In 15 seconds, we are down with those two steps with two squats, cashing in and cashing out. 10 seconds here. Good job. How's our breathing? How's our water? Drink, drink that water here. Four seconds here. Let's set ourselves up. Three, two, one. We're dropping down to that low squat position. We have two steps. Nice, strong body weight squats. One, two, go ahead and open up that stride. Good, nice lateral steps. One, two, good, reset yourself. Your foot placement should be shoulder width apart when you go into those body weight squats. Good, nice, strong movements here. Keeping that chest up, reset. Pushing those hips back into that body squat. Five seconds, last three, two, get there, one, time, good job. Good job, that isolation at that low hold really catches up to you with those two side to side lateral lunges, lateral steps. All right, dumbbell rolls coming up. Dumbbell roll coming up. Five seconds here, set ourselves up. Staggered stance here, right arm has the weight, two, one. Hips are square, back is flat. 
nice full range of motion here, all the way down, extending down, engaging your lat, thinking about your lats working, 30 seconds, 10 more, and then we're gonna switch arms. Out in three, head is flat, head is neutral, two, one, and let's alternate the left arm here. Set ourselves up. Good, keeping that back flat. That chest is up, making sure our shoulders are rolled back as well and head in that neutral position. Five seconds, three, two, one, and time. Good job, team, good job. Nice compact movement here for that row, making sure that we set ourselves up with that alternate hand on that knee. All right, curtsy squat with a curl coming up. Two, one, grabbing my weight here. Here we go, team. And we're working 40 seconds on the clock. Curtsy squat into that bicep curl. Right back to standing. Set ourselves up here. Drop down. Bicep curl right back up. That rear knee can go down as far as we are able to go comfortably here. If you're hovering the floor, it's a nice, deep curtsy squat. Driving up through that front knee, front leg, front heel, back to standing position. Nice, strong stance here. Palms are facing you. Chest is up nice and proud. Keep those shoulders rolled back. Three, two, last rep. Finish it out and time. 20 seconds here. 20 seconds. Ah, good job, team. Good job. Good, good. We're back on the ground in eight seconds here. Leg raises with the knee tuck coming up in five seconds. Let's get there. Three, two, one. Extend it out. Drive those knees to our chest here. Good. Our hands, once again, can be underneath our glutes, underneath our hips for support. It could be out to the side, fingertips spread nice and wide. Try to get those hips up just a little bit, engaging our core just that much more. Toes facing the ceiling, pointing towards the ceiling here. Last 10 seconds. Making sure we're breathing. Four, three, two, last rep, and time. All right. How are we doing, team? How are we doing, BFIT Nation? <sighs> second round, second round, we always learn it. First round, we learn it. Second round, we always scale it up. <sighs> All right. Wichita, Kansas. All right, Newton. Thanks for joining us. Are you working out today with us? Mm. Make sure and stay hydrated, team. Mm hmm Where are we joining from, team? Where are we joining from? 20 seconds left. Catch that breath. All right. Once again, if there's any areas of soreness, any areas that we are tight it's in our hips, let's continue to keep working those out. 10 seconds here. We have that lower body isolation here. Coming up in four seconds here. Three. Let's set ourselves up in that low quarter squat. Two. One. Here we go. Two to the left or the right. Two squats coming out of that. Good, reset. However wide your lateral steps are, always try to keep that same space at shoulder width apart here. One, two, drive through your heels. Engage your quads, standing up, engage your glutes. Good, reset. Three, two, <laughs> oh, tricked myself here. Seven more seconds here. Good, one, two, good, two, one, and time. Good job. <laughs> third round, kicking off our third round. We have that dumbbell roll coming up. Mm. 10 seconds here, team. Once again, if we had a bench, if we had a chair, if we had a table that's secure, we can come off of our bench, off of our chair, off of our table. If we do not, stagger stance right here, 40 seconds on the clock, let's roll. Let's roll. <laughs> Good, nice controlled movements again, really squeezing at that top. Working on our lat, our mid to upper back development here. This is great for our posture, for strength building overall, if we need to pick something up. 
put something down. 15 seconds here, let's go ahead and alternate hands. I'm in my left hand now. Finish it out. Good. Really meeting that 90 degree bend at our elbow. Last three seconds. Two, one, time. 20 seconds of rest here. Good job. Way to stay with us, BFIT Nation. Way to stay with us. We have that curtsy squats with a lunge coming up in six seconds here. Three, two, one, set ourselves up, square to the floor, square to the floor, to the camera here for me. I'm back, I'm down, I'm curling. Good, take it nice and slow here. Once again, if we need to regress, instead of crossing that body line here, let's go ahead and go straight back into that reverse lunge, drive back up. Keeping that chest up nice and proud. Once again, those shoulders are rolled back, right? Keeping that chest up. That head up as well. 10 seconds here. Three, two, one. All right, team. Good job, team. Good job. Way to work through that 13 seconds of rest here. That's movement three. Here we go. Getting ready for last and final movement here within round three. That knee tuck coming up in three seconds. Two, one, we are back, we are down, and we are tucking. Good. Those shoulder blades are pinned to the floor here. Hands can be up. If we want to scale out, they can extend if we want to scale up. Good. If we need to regress, one leg at a time, okay? Nice controlled movement here with that knee duck. Good job. You can reset heels on the floor, knees driving to our chest. Last five seconds, team. Three, two, one, and time. <laughs> Slowing that tempo down right there for round number three. <laughs> How are we doing, Nation? How are we doing, BFA Nation? Staying with me? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Always remember, always remember, we want to set ourselves up for success here. So no matter how hard we are working in the gym, how hard we are working on our exterior, on our fitness level, we always want to be mindful of what we put in our bodies as well as far as nutrition. Remember the exchange is here to support you, to stay mission ready, right? If you are at exchange restaurants, more than 1,700 restaurants that can help you out there for better for you options. Check out our express stores, which offer healthier choice tags. Tagged items takes the guesswork out of that smart snacking. All right, team. Five seconds here. Two side steps, two squats coming up. Three, two, set ourselves up here. Down, a little squat. Let's get it, team. Last round here. We want to make it our best round. Reset. One, two. Take some wide steps here. Really focus on driving up to that squat through our heels. One, two, good. Send all the way out. There you go. Halfway there. 15, stay with me. Chest is up nice and proud. Good, one, two, good. Seven seconds here. Nice little push, midweek push through our week. Two, one, time. 20 seconds of rest here. Okay, all right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Newton, okay. Um, absolutely, absolutely. If there's any modifications that you'd like to see with this last round, let me know. Dumbbell rows coming up. All right, good to see you still working out, BFit Nation. You had your workout this morning. That's fantastic. AM workouts are a great way to start the day. It really gets our oxygen levels high, blood flows pumping, mental clarity, body can perform a lot better through the day, right? Body in motion stays in motion. All right, team, let's alternate. Alternate hands here, alternate arms. Good, good job. It's all about isolation with a lot of these movements here, right? Really focus on the muscle group that we are pulling or pushing. Out in three, two, one. Good job, team, good job, good job. 
curtsy squat with the curl. So a little two for one action here. Remember, we're hitting that lower body movement with some arms here. A little two for one. If you're pressed for time, double it up with some combo movements to get two for one action here. All right, we could just do curtsy squats. Here you go, 40 seconds on the clock. We could just do curtsy squats or we could just do curls for 40 seconds, absolutely. But if you are pressed for time, if you're looking for a little bit more bang for your buck, right? Really scaling up the movement, add in a two for one. Who's to say you couldn't go into that curtsy squat with a bicep curl, right? Or a reverse lunge with a bicep curl into an overhead press, right? 10 seconds here, bicep curl, nice strong overhead press. Add in three, two, one, and Tom, you won't see that one again. Put those weights down, team. Last and final movement here, knee tuck. Knee tuck to round us out here. Once again, 10 seconds here, catch our breath. Grab that water if you need. We are up in five seconds. Let's get down to the floor here. Three, two, one. Extend those legs out, hands overhead, or hands by your temple, making sure you lead with your head or keep that head flat on the deck here, right? Whew. Once again, it's a great modification for our knee tucks in one of our events for the ACFT. Good. Good job, team. Almost there. Last seven seconds here. Give me three more. One, two, last rep, three. Good job, team. Good job. Way to finish, BFit Nation. Woo. Way to finish. As we catch our breath here. All right, team. The great thing about tempo training with limited amount of rest, 20 seconds to be exact, is it really forces us to keep our heart rate elevated with a limited amount of rest, just enough to refill our lungs, to refill our muscle groups with that oxygen, right? With that rest period, really shaking them out here, but just applying to that next movement that you're about to tackle, really digging right back into the workout, okay? So a great option if you're looking for a compact workout, or if you're looking to add in some cardiovascular work, right? This is here, right? To keep our lungs filled, right? To keep our heart rate elevated. Same thing with an aerobic activity here. This would be anaerobic here. So we're really working on high intensity depending on the movements, right? But with strength training, you always wanna be controlled and mindful of the way your body is moving mechanically, right? So we wanna make sure that we're focusing on the specific area that we are trying to target while you know, performing each lift, okay? So with the dumbbell row, for example, right? Making sure that our hips are square to the floor, making sure that we're hinging at those hips, making sure that our shoulders are rolled back, our head is in that neutral position, right? Always try to keep that spinal alignment here. And then when we row, we tuck in nice and close to our torso, really activating our lats, right? If you're looking for that overhead toss, let's say, for example, in an ACFT event, you're going to extend from standing position with your ball your weighted ball, your dead ball, your med ball, up and overhead. That's gonna be a lot of lat movement here. A lot of hips, a lot of core stability, drive from your trunk, drive from your legs. But also with that overhead toss, you're gonna to incorporate a lot of lat, mid to upper back and shoulder work there to drive that energy up and overhead to get that ball through the distance that you need. So with these rows, it can really help you as an overall, um, as an overall movement, right? To put one, two, three specific, four specific muscle groups together to help you get the most out of your ACFT workout, out of your ACFT test. So <clears throat> once again, team, I'm glad you were able to join us for today's BFit Live. I know it was a special workout Wednesday since we had a bit of a break on Monday, but I hope you still trained on Monday. And just as a note, right? We have all of our BFit Lives catalog within our Facebook um, our Facebook page. So if you scroll down on our Facebook page and you look for BFIT under videos, all right, we have all of our BFIT lives programmed in catalog, our catalog uh, right there for you. Every workout has been different coming up on a year now, a year's worth of workouts. So if you're looking to change up your routine, if you're looking to add in or think 
uh, you know, what can I work out today? Take the guesswork out of it and let uh, myself with the Be Fit program take it, take you, you know, through our journey and through our workout program to help you stay ready, to help you stay resilient and to help you stay fit team. All right. Um, any last minute questions here? I know, um, I know Newton had some great, great, uh, interesting uh, uh, comments here. So thank you so much for your comments team. Thank you so much for joining us for today's workout. I hope you enjoyed. And once again, um, let's keep moving. If you didn't, or if you were not able to uh, tackle this right now at the AM hour, let's hit it back again, right? Bring it back around for the PM workout series. All right, team. Well, I hope you have a great rest of your week. Keep progressing. We'll see, we'll be here and we will see you next week. All right, team. Roy Montes signing off here. Cheers.